We are excited to have with us today Dr. Heather Stain. She is the owner of Advanced Animal Care of Colorado and Dogtails Activity Center. This is a new veterinary hospital up in Fort Collins and we're so excited to tell you about all about it. It's an amazing facility. Dr. Stain is a graduate of CSU in their College of Veterinary Medicine and we're honored to have you on the program today. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Well, tell us about why you decided to get into this venture. Um, I've been practicing as a veterinarian for 10 years in Fort Collins and after working for a national company I decided that I had some vision for doing something exceptional in northern Colorado and decided to branch out on my own. So we've created a new facility that's owned locally and independently. And you have some other doctors that work alongside you. Yes. Um, we've got Dr. Akos Harte, who is a general practitioner that has some specialty interest in Chinese herbal medicine, acupuncture, rehabilitation, massage, and chiropractic. And we're proud to announce that we're bringing on a third doctor in July, Dr. Brittany Alvilar, who is also a CSU grad and is going to be coming on with us to practice general practice. Okay, and you have a lot that goes on in your veterinary hospital, so we're <laughs> going to just take it in some chunks. Tell us about some of your services. Okay. Um, our hospital starts out with a general practice that does everything from wellness care and vaccinations to advanced medical procedures. Uh, we do diagnostic workups for chronic illnesses. We have ultrasound, digital radiography, uh, dental procedures, endodontics. We do all kinds of soft tissue as well as orthopedic surgeries. We have a laparoscope and do laparoscopic surgeries. There's some images of us doing procedures. Um, our general practice can meet all of your pet's needs for all veterinary care. And then we also have a focus on some specialty services. Dr. Harte does rehabilitation with our underwater treadmill. He focuses on general well care of animals through traditional Chinese herbal medicine, can handle post-surgical recovery of patients, uh, as well as conditioning, old age management for obesity and arthritis, and can use a bunch of modalities that are new to veterinary medicine in helping those pets. I personally have a reproduction specialty that I do. Uh, we handle a lot of high quality breeders and helping them improve their breeding programs. We handle a lot of puppies in our hospital. We can do natural whelpings in our hospital where litters are born in our special area and provide reproductive services to breeders around the state. And you also have some grooming services and some other specialty services that you offer. One of the things we really wanted to do was to create a hospital that met the pet owner's needs from every perspective and creating an environment that is fun for the animals to come to us and allowing owners to have all the services they need in one location um, brings people to the hospital in a, in a positive way. So we have professional grooming services um, with a groomer that does show grooming as well as pet grooming. We have a lodging facility for overnight care for dogs and for cats. Our suites are um, very nice. They all have infrared radiant heat, automatic waters. The pets get home away from home attention and really specialized care. We have a doggy daycare facility that we can take up to 50 dogs a day that get along and play together in our AstroTurf fenced yard. We do agility training and all training services from puppy kindergarten all the way through competition level agility. We have an indoor heated saltwater pool that the dogs from daycare get to go swimming together every day for splash sessions if they enjoy the pool. Um, and have all kinds of games played with them. The dogs are behaviorally consulted before putting them into the daycare area to make sure that they all get along well together, but it really is a fun place for the dogs. We kind of call this dog Disneyland. <laughs> we also have um, for our pool a swim coach who does individual training lessons for the dogs, teaches them to use the pool safely. So if you have a dog that's fearful of water, we can actually teach them to safely swim. But our desire was to create a community center for the general public to be able to come and swim and exercise and condition and play with their dogs. So we do a splash orientation that teaches the owners about the rules of the pool. But then after that, they can come in when we're open and swim their dog on their own and get a chance to play with them with the family and the dogs. Wonderful. Well, Dr. Stain, what do you feel like 
sets your veterinary hospital apart from the many others in the community? Well, what we try to do is create an environment where people feel comfortable bringing their pets to be able to team with us to determine what's necessary for their animal's care. And some of the ways that we've done that is to create an environment where people can be present for all the procedures that we do. We have an open door policy. So we really partner with the owners to help them make decisions for their animals that they're comfortable with and be able to be there and share in the care of their animal. So if we have a surgery or a procedure that's going on, an owner can stay with their pet and be with them when they recover from a procedure and really participate in the care of their pet within the hospital. That's a great program. Thank you. Love it. Well, I've been in your uh, facility many times and I love the staff there. So they're just really amazing. So let's talk about them a little bit. I think that our team actually makes our hospital. We have a group of extremely passionate young people who really care about what they're doing. Um, they've all contributed to a, a hospital that is very welcoming and warm. They provide exceptional customer service. They love interacting with the animals as well as the clients. We have a great time and we provide great care. So uh, I think that's uh, the team members make, make or break a hospital. We have certified veterinary technicians, we have technician assistants, we have customer service representatives that run our front office. We have a full-time staff of six that run our Dogtails Activity Center and really dedicate their time to caring for the animals that are in daycare and in the pool and lodging with us. So there's a, there's a group of 20 of us that run this hospital and they're all wonderful. Yeah, and that is stimulating the economy here in Northern Colorado, <laughs> so thanks for that. Well, I know you're doing some things to stay green mm -hmm. at your facility. Talk to us a little bit about that. I'm pretty passionate about that. We um, started with a digital record keeping system, so we're a paperless facility. Uh, we do everything with telemedicine that's all digital and over the internet. We have a very strong recycling program within the hospital that we, we all adhere to. Um, we designed and built our building to be LEED certified, so we're working on LEED certification for the, for the building and stuck to green practice building protocols as much as possible. Um, we're part of the ClimateWise program in Northern Colorado that we're real excited to be a partner on, so we've worked real hard to be a green green business. That's wonderful. You are doing such an amazing job and providing such an important service for our community and I know you're passionate about it and that's where it starts. And I just have to say I, I want to show a little picture of who anybody would be greeted by at the door when they come. Yes, the staff is important, but this is Yaya. Talk to us a little bit about her. Yaya is one of my rag dolls. She's four years old and she is truly our hospital entertainment and our greeter. She loves all the dogs and all the people and all the cats and she will welcome you at the front door. Okay, and I understand that you provide a initial free consultation and first exam for new patients. Absolutely. We'd like to give the community an opportunity to get to know us and our facility and our team and feel comfortable with us. So we're trying to provide a path to make that easy for people to be able to come in, get a tour, meet the staff, meet the doctors, and we're happy to do a consultation on any medical concerns that an owner has. Thank you. Appreciate that. And we're going to pass that along to our viewers. So if you would like to have more information about the Advanced Animal Care of Colorado and Dog Tales Activity Center, you can visit them on the web at advancedanimalcareofcolorado.com or call 970-493-3333. You can also find them on Facebook. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks for joining us on NOCO Link. We'll see you soon.